put your hands up if you have been in a trade and then out of the blue, out of nowhere, the trade has just massively moved against you, right? And at that point, you think like, oh, the market's against me, trading's so difficult. You know, it's all doom and gloom, right? So stay tuned, guys, because we're going to look at how you can protect yourself when these big moves against you happen and you have no idea why. And there was a perfect example on any yen pair on Friday, right? So if we play this along, and I was buying this market, right? I was buying Canadian dollar, Japanese yen, and then kapow, right? Look at the size of that candle. That is a move of 270 pips, right? Um, and, you, you know... If I didn't protect myself, and I'll show you the techniques that I used, then you would be, you know, spitting feathers. You would be annoyed. You'd be like, why has this happened, right? And the truth of the matter is, right, first and foremost, it doesn't matter why it happened, right? You will get every analyst and his friend and his dog and they will be like, uh, oh, um, it was because of this, or it was because of that, or it's because of this. And the truth of the matter is it could be many things, right? It could be the BOJ intervening. You, you know, you won't know sometimes when they intervene. There was news of a new um, Japanese uh, prime minister, right? That could have been the reason. It could just be a really nice technical level, and a lot of sellers have stepped in, right? So... It does not matter, right? All you know is it's happened, okay? you It's not like you will know that ahead of time and you could trade it, right? It's one of those pieces of news that have come out of the blue. It's untradeable. You don't know it's happening, but it's happened, okay? So how can we protect ourselves? And, and also, don't waste your energy on trying to find out why right? Or what it was. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't, right? So this is how um, we roll with such trades, guys, right? So let's go back to the start and let's go back to where I entered on this trade, right? So let me bring my trade up, right? This was the trade on Friday. Let me just make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. So this was the this was the trade, guys. Okay. So on Friday, this was my Canadian dollar Japanese yen buy trade. This was my entry, stop loss, uh, my first target, and then I let 20% run, right? Um, and this is here you can see, guys, right down the bottom here, it hit target. Okay. Now, if I didn't take profit, I would have been spitting feathers. Okay, so this was the trade. Now we're going to remove this. So basically, the two ways of protecting yourself is firstly, always take partial profits, right? If you're nicely in profit and you've got at least a risk to reward of one is to one, right? You might want to choose a little bit more, but at least a risk to reward of one is to one, take some profit and leave some profit to run right? You can always get back into the trade anyway. Um, and secondly, trail your stop, okay? Because that will protect you from massive moves as well. Now, I got in at around this level here, okay? Stop was below here, and this was my target, okay? And at that target, that was roughly one is to one risk to reward, okay? And once it hits my first TP, right, as you saw in the picture I just brought up, I close 80% of the trade. It's not always 80%, but in this situation it was. And it was a Friday, guys. I'm keen to take profit on a Friday. Okay, so that's, that's the first thing I did. All right, so let's play this along. Right, so there you go, guys, right? I have taken profit at this point. So pretty much whatever happens in this market, I'm protected, okay? I've entered here, I've taken 80% of my profit, and I have 20% remaining down here. Even if the market did this, right, and continue to do this, 
I would I would still be profitable because I've closed 80% of my trade, okay? And it would just close the remaining 20% of my trade. So that's the first, first thing, guys. Take partial profits, right? The second is to trail your stop, right? So as price comes up, as soon as uh, we've hit this target and we've closed 80%, right? then the market has also shown us that this is no longer the last low, but this is the new last higher low, right? So all I'll do is move my stop loss from here and I will move it up into here, right? Give it a little bit of room and I'll move my stop loss. Now, not only does this protect you, which we will clearly see in a minute, but I'm also keen to add to the trade if we get a retrace, right? Obviously, this retrace was exceptional, right? It was, you know, a bit crazy, so I wouldn't trade that. But I'm looking for a retrace to enter again, all right? So this is where I was at. So, you know, my, my stop loss for the remaining 20%, my risk has been massively reduced now, again, if price comes down and takes out this stop loss, I've made even more profit on this trade. Okay? Now, that's what you need to do, guys, to protect yourself. Throw your stop, take some partial profits, okay? And then if we play it along, that happens, guys, right? More luck than judgment. I actually closed the remainder of my trade at 108.50 because it was a Friday. But even if I didn't do that, right, I now have this scenario, okay? I've closed most of my profit here. My stop loss was here, and that was the remaining 20%. And my entry was here. So I am still massively up on this trade, even though we had a huge piece of, you know, bizarre news or, or whatever it was, make this candle just plummet, okay? So the lesson here, guys, is yeah, take profit, trail your stop loss, and you will be protected against these kind of moves, which are not common, right? Let's be honest, they're not common. Um, but if they do happen, you are fully protected. All right, guys. So yeah, that was uh, yeah from Friday. Um, now, guys, stay tuned because I'm going to give you all of my trade ideas. And when I give you all of my trade ideas, please leave a comment, guys. If you like the trade idea or potentially you're looking at a different trade, um, yeah, don't be afraid. Leave a comment. We love to hear from you, even if it's a joke. Right? We like we like jokes as well. Um, right, trades for today, guys. There wasn't a lot of trades, really, for today. Um, but we're still going to start with uh, a euro pair. And we're going to start with euro New Zealand dollar. Now, before I do um, look at euro New Zealand, guys, if I could please ask everyone to firstly subscribe to the channel, if you haven't already, smash the notification button. And if everyone could please smash the like button. Um, also, guys, if you haven't, um, please come and join our trading community, right? We've got the free Discord channel. Um, if you want more than that, you want access to my trade signals, my tutorial strategies, you want direct access to me, then please come join our VIP Trading Academy. And right now, we're running a promotion. We will give you free access to the VIP if you sign up with one of our preferred brokers. Get involved, guys. Come join the VIP. Right, trades for today. We're going to start with Euro New Zealand dollar. Okay, and if we look at the weekly chart, I still think there's a little bit more room for this pair to go, right? Obviously, the weekly chart is in this downtrend, right? Clearly in a downtrend. And we're seeing quite a bullish reaction, which is which has meant I haven't entered just yet. But that aside, I still think we have a bit of room back down to these last lows and this piece of support. All right, so that's the weekly chart. Now, if we drop down to the day chart, you know, still looking good, right? We were in this downtrend. We wasn't too sure what was going to happen in here, right? And then bang, we got a break and we've been in a downtrend ever since. 
Um, yesterday's candle was bearish. And now, guys, we're getting a nice retrace. All right. So if we go to the H4, right, we really are getting a nice retrace. But what I'm seeing is a, a bit of New Zealand dollar weakness in the market. So I'm going to wait for a reaction in here. It's at such a lovely level to sell, right? We've got this H4 downtrend, right? It's even making lower lows down here. And we've had a nice retrace. I'm just going to see how price reacts in here and then potentially start selling from here. All right, so Euro New Zealand sells. That's my first trade idea. Um, don't forget to leave a comment if you like the trade or you're looking at something else. The next one is pound Swiss franc. Okay, and if we look at the weekly chart here as well to start with. So the weekly chart, unlike any other Swiss franc pair, is in an uptrend. Right, we're in an uptrend and price has retraced to a really nice area of support. Yeah, we're getting higher lows, higher highs, right? We've got lots of room to move into. Um, now, if we drop down to the day chart, right, we have had a very bullish reaction at this level. We know it's a good support level because it was once a good resistance level, right? Um, and we're in an uptrend. Right. And this is where we find ourselves. Um, so I'm looking to buy. The only problem is, is the H4, right? We're, we're still in a H4 downtrend as we currently speak, right? We was in this trade and now bang, right? We're in a downtrend. We're getting lower highs, right? Lower lows. So what do I need to see happen, right? I need to see a break of this level it's almost become a h1 trade right so let's take a look at the h1 so the h1 you can clearly see has changed structure and it's in an uptrend right but it's found resistance at this level so yeah like i say this will be a h1 trade i'm going to wait for a breakthrough here right with a h1 candle um Potentially a little retrace down into here. I put my stop below here and look to take price to these highs. All right, so that's what I'm looking for, pound Swiss franc buys. And also, guys, um, interestingly, I'm looking at a few, I'm looking at dollar strength, which we haven't said for a while, right? Dollar's been weak. But if we again, if we look at the dollar index, go to the day chart and we zoom out a little bit, we know it's at this really nice support level. Okay, I'm going to zoom back in so you can see what the hell I'm talking about. And, you know, it just just about keeps, look at this bullish candle here, bullish candle here, it keeps holding on to this level, right? Sellers cannot break it. So that suggests the dollar might have, you know, a bit of strength in it from this level. And then also, if you just look at any US dollar pair, like New Zealand dollar, US dollar, is at, let's go to the weekly chart, right? They are at key weekly levels. And if we're going to get some US dollar strength come into the market, it would make sense that we get that at weekly levels, right? New Zealand US dollar, weekly, uh, weekly resistance level, US dollar strength. Um, what else? Let's look at pound US dollar, right? Okay, pound US dollar is not at a level. Euro US dollar, right? Weekly level, we're getting some strength, right? Um, let's have a look at another one. Aussie dollar, US dollar, right? Weekly level, okay? And on the day chart, you can see sellers are starting to appear. Okay, now bearing that in mind, my trade would be gold and it would be against trend. As we know with gold, guys, right, gold has just been flying. Okay, but up here, it was very overbought, overextended, whatever you want to call it, right? There's no value. And now you can see we've had a real bearish candle come off of those, this overextended level. 
So this would be an against trend trade. And I think we could potentially come down just to this next high here and probably the moving average 20 would catch up there as well. So down to this 2600 level. Um, if you look at the H4, you know, it fits our entry criteria as well, right? H4 was, you know, here and then it's just been breaking down ever since. So we've got a very bearish daily candle combined with a H4 downtrend. So I'm just looking for price to retrace into here. Perhaps the moving average 20 catches up and looking to sell from in here down to here. All right, guys. And yeah, those are my trade ideas for today. There's not lots of trades, but guys, please don't forget to join me for the live stream today, 8 a.m. New York EST time. Get your questions ready for me. Um, check out all our promotions. Have a great trading day and I'll see you uh, later.